Welcome to A Plus Health Life channel. We discuss the ways to fulfill your life with more quality and inform you on ways to get to your life goals with less effort. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. The Scarsdale diet was popular in the late 1970s. Based on a top-selling book by Dr. Herman Tarnauer, a cardiologist located in Scarsdale, NY, the diet promised up to 20 pounds 9 kilograms of weight loss in under two weeks. With its extreme restrictions and quick-fix ideology, the Scarsdale diet has been met with tremendous criticism by the medical community. Still, you may wonder if this diet really works and whether it's right for you. This article reviews the benefits and downsides of the Scarsdale diet to show whether scientific evidence supports it. Rating score breakdown overall score. 1.25 weight loss, 1.0 healthy eating, 1.0 sustainability, 2.0 whole body health, 0.0 nutrition quality, 2.5 evidence-based, 1.0 bottom line, the Scarsdale diet slashes your calorie intake to only 1,000 per days using a strict list of approved foods. Its focus on quick weight loss and extreme restrictions make it difficult to follow long-term, as well as dangerous. The diet's background and history The Scarsdale diet started as a two-page diet sheet made by Tarnauer to help his patients lose weight for better heart health. After many individual success stories, Tarnauer published the book, The Complete Scarsdale Medical Diet, in 1979. The diet allows a mere 1,000 calories per day regardless of your age, weight, sex, or activity levels. It's heavy in protein. Consisting of 43% protein, 22.5% fat, and 34.5% carbs. The diet also forbids snacks and numerous healthy foods, such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice, avocados, beans, and lentils. Tarnauer died one year after the book's publication. Shortly thereafter, the Scarsdale diet was heavily criticized for its extreme restrictions and unrealistic weight loss promises. As such, the book is no longer in print. The Scarsdale diet focuses on protein-heavy meals but limits you to 1,000 calories per day. The book it's based on is no longer sold or promoted due to the various dangers of this eating pattern. How to follow the Scarsdale diet The rules of the Scarsdale diet can be found in Tarnauer's book, The Complete Scarsdale Medical Diet. Though it's no longer in print, some copies are still sold online, and some unofficial Scarsdale diet websites list its details. The main rules include eating a protein-rich diet, restricting yourself to 1,000 calories per day, and following a limited list of approved foods. You are forbidden from any snacks except carrots, celery, and low-sodium veggie soups, which are only to be eaten when necessary. You must drink at least 4 cups 945 milliliters, of water per day but can also enjoy black coffee, plain tea, or diet soda. Tarnauer emphasized that the diet is only intended to last 14 days, after which you transition to the Keep Slim program. Keep Slim program after the 14-day initial diet, you're allowed to introduce a few banned foods, such as bread, up to two slices per day, baked goods, as a rare treat, and one alcoholic beverage per day. While you're still expected to follow the list of approved foods, you're allowed to increase your portion sizes and calories to allow more flexibility. Tarnauer suggested following the Keep Slim program until you notice your weight increasing. If you regain weight, you're instructed to do the 14-day initial diet again. The diet's initial phase lasts 14 days and is so restrictive that almost all snacks are banned. You then transition to the Keep Slim program, which is slightly more flexible. Foods to eat and avoid a small selection of foods is permitted on the Scarsdale diet. As you're only allowed 1,000 calories per day, it's crucial that you monitor your portion sizes and stick to the approved foods. Although it seems contradictory, the diet recommends that you eat until you're satisfied. Foods to eat foods allowed on the diet include raw, non-starchy vegetables, bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, celery, green beans, leafy greens, lettuce, onion, radishes, spinach, tomatoes, and zucchini fruits, choose grapefruit whenever possible, 
otherwise apples, blueberries, cantaloupes, grapes, lemon, lime, mangoes, papayas, peaches, pears, plums, starfruit, strawberries, and watermelon wheat and grains. Only protein bread is permitted meat, poultry, and fish. Lean beef including hamburger, chicken, turkey, fish, shellfish, and cold cuts except bologna eggs. Yolks and whites but prepared plain, without oil, butter, or other fats dairy, low-fat products, such as 2% milk, cheese slices, and cottage cheese nuts and seeds, only six walnut or pecan halves per day, on occasion seasonings, most herbs and spices are permitted beverages, unsweetened black coffee, tea, and water, as well as zero-calorie diet soda foods to avoid the Scarsdale diet forbids numerous foods, including many healthy ones like sweet potatoes, avocados, beans, and lentils. There are no stated reasons why these foods are prohibited. Though grapefruit was originally the only fruit allowed, updated versions now permit most fruits, but reserve them as a treat. Vegetables and starches, beans, corn, lentils, peas, potatoes, white and sweet pumpkin, and rice fruits, avocado and jackfruit dairy, full-fat dairy including milk, yogurt, and cheese fats and oils, all oils, butter, ghee, mayonnaise, and salad dressings wheat and grains, most wheat and grain products, e.g., bagels, bread, breakfast cereals, cookies, crackers, donuts, pancakes, pasta, pita bread, pizza, sandwiches, tortillas, and wraps, flours, all flour and flour-based foods nuts and seeds, all nuts and seeds except walnuts and pecans, in limited amounts, meat, highly processed meats, such as bologna, sausage, and bacon sweets and desserts, all sweets and desserts, including chocolate processed foods, fast food, frozen food, potato chips, pre-made dinners, etc. Beverages. Alcoholic beverages, artificially sweetened drinks, most fruit juices, soda, and specialty coffees and teas. The Scarsdale diet limits you to a small list of approved foods. Many foods high in carbs or fat are banned. Healthline resources take our free three-question diet quiz. Our free assessment ranks the best diets for you based on your answers to three quick questions. Does it help with weight loss? The Scarsdale diet's main claim is that it can help you lose 20 pounds, 9 kilograms, in 14 days via a protein-rich, low-calorie diet consisting of mostly lean meats, eggs, low-fat dairy, leafy vegetables, and some fruit. Since the diet permits just 1,000 calories per day, well below the recommended calorie intake for any adult, you will likely lose weight. That's because weight loss depends on a calorie deficit, which means that you burn more calories than you take in. However, adult men and women need 2,000 to 3,000 and 1,600 to 2,400 calories per day, respectively. The 1,000 daily calories prescribed by the Scarsdale diet puts most people in a daily calorie deficit of 1,000 to 2,000 calories. To compensate for the drastic decrease in calories, your body will begin to use fat, muscle, and glycogen stores as energy. Glycogen is a stored form of carbs that holds large amounts of water. As your body uses up glycogen and muscle stores, it releases water, causing a dramatic drop in weight. Plus, the Scarsdale diet recommends that 43% of your daily calories come from protein. High-protein diets have been shown to promote weight loss by aiding fullness, but they're less effective in tandem with very low-calorie diets like this one. As such, you will likely lose weight during the first two weeks of the diet. However, very low-calorie diets paired with extreme food restrictions are unsustainable and likely led to weight regain once you stop dieting. Even with the Keep Slim maintenance program that's slightly more flexible, few foods are allowed and calories are still restricted. Therefore, few people can expect to sustain this diet long term. Though you may lose weight quickly, most medical experts agree that rapid weight loss is unhealthy and unsustainable. Healthy cooking techniques, regular exercise, and stress management. The Scarsdale diet is very low in calories, which likely leads to short-term weight loss, mostly from water weight rather than fat. You'll likely regain the weight once the diet is over. Does the diet have any benefits? 
Despite its unrealistic weight loss promises, the Scarsdale diet has a few redeeming qualities. It's simple and straightforward for those who are looking for exact instructions, which take away the second guessing that many diets involve. Furthermore, it promotes high-protein foods alongside vegetables at each meal. Depending on your routine eating pattern, this may improve your diet quality. Finally, the Scarsdale diet is quite cheap and doesn't require expensive food or equipment. Though the Scarsdale diet is ridden with flaws, it's straightforward, encourages high-protein foods, and is relatively inexpensive. Downsides of the diet The Scarsdale diet has numerous downsides and side effects that may endanger your health. As such, it's best to avoid the diet. Highly restrictive to follow the diet correctly, you must eliminate many foods, including several nutritious options. This diet leaves little room for flexibility and other important aspects of eating, such as cultural traditions and celebrations. If your meals become less enjoyable and even overwhelming, the diet will be difficult to follow long term. In many cases, restrictive eating may damage your ability to control your food intake or increase your risk of overeating. The best diets are those that allow all foods in moderation, provide the optimal amount of nutrition through whole foods, and are easy to follow long term. Encourages yo-yo dieting You're meant to follow the Scarsdale diet for 14 days, then the Keep Slim Maintenance program. However, you're supposed to return to the Scarsdale diet if you begin to regain weight. This recommendation proves that the diet is not only unsustainable but also prone to weight cycling, likewise called yo-yo dieting. This pattern involves a constant cycle of quick weight loss followed by weight regain. Weight cycling can be harmful both physically and mentally, as it may lead to a slower metabolism, increased risk of weight regain, poor body image, and disordered eating thoughts and behaviors. Vilifies calories The Scarsdale diet emphasizes calorie intake over nutrition. In fact, it may lead to nutrient deficiencies given its dangerous requirements to eat a meager 1,000 calories per day and eliminate entire food groups like whole grains, starchy vegetables, avocados, full-fat dairy, nuts, and seeds. Plus, the diet promotes the false belief that all calories are inherently bad. Rather, diets rich in nutrient-dense foods, which may be high in calories, are linked to a lower risk of obesity, mortality, heart disease, diabetes, inflammation, and certain cancers. Therefore, you should focus on nutrient quality rather than calories. Try to follow a diet full of nutrient-dense, minimally processed foods for healthy weight loss. Prioritizes weight loss over health rather than improving overall health, the Scarsdale diet focuses on extreme food restriction and near-starvation techniques to trigger rapid weight loss. The basis of the diet is that weight loss is paramount to health. Yet, adopting healthy lifestyle behaviors, such as eating nutritious food, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, and managing stress, may improve overall health with or without weight loss. Sadly, this diet fails to recognize that your health is more than just a number on the scale. The Scarsdale diet promotes unnecessary food restrictions, dangerously slashes your calorie intake, is unsustainable, and prioritizes weight loss over health. Sample 3-day menu The Scarsdale diet recommends eating the same breakfast each day and drinking lukewarm water throughout the day. Snacks are banned, but you're allowed carrots, celery, or low-sodium veggie soups if you can't wait until your next meal. Furthermore, you aren't permitted to cook with oils or other fats and cannot add spreads to your protein bread. Here's a 3-day sample menu for the Scarsdale diet. Day 1 breakfast, 1 slice of protein bread, no spread, half of a grapefruit, and black coffee, tea, or diet soda lunch, salad, canned salmon, leafy greens, and vinegar and lemon dressing, plus fruit, as well as black coffee, tea, or diet soda dinner, roast chicken, no skin, spinach, half of a bell pepper, string beans, and black coffee, tea, or diet soda day 2 breakfast, one slice of protein bread, no spread, half of a grapefruit, and black coffee, tea, or diet soda lunch, two eggs, no fat, one cup, 162 grams, of low-fat cottage cheese, one slice of protein bread, no spread, plus fruit, as well as black coffee, tea, or diet soda dinner.
a lean hamburger, a large helping allowed, salad, tomatoes, cucumbers, and celery, with lemon and vinegar dressing, and black coffee, tea, or diet soda day 3 breakfast, one slice of protein bread, no spread, half of a grapefruit, and black coffee, tea, or diet soda lunch, assorted meat slices, spinach, unlimited amounts, sliced tomatoes, and black coffee, tea, or diet soda dinner, a grilled steak, all fat removed, a large serving allowed, Brussels sprouts, onions, half of a bell pepper, and black coffee, tea, or diet soda there's limited information on portion sizes, though to ensure you stay within the 1000 calorie limit, you probably need to keep portion sizes small for all foods besides leafy greens and proteins. The Scarsdale diet recommends small meals comprised of protein and veggies, and it encourages you to eat the same breakfast each day. No snacks, spreads, or high-fat foods are allowed. What to eat? Cheese and eggs. Nuts. Fruit, especially grapefruit. Meat, poultry, seafood, cold cuts. Black coffee, tea, water, diet soda. Protein bread. Non-compliant foods. Butter, salad dressing, avocado, and most other fats. Potatoes, rice, sweet potatoes, beans. Sugar and sugary treats. Pasta, most bread, flour-based foods. Full-fat milk. Alcoholic beverages. Limited vegetables. Some vegetables, including leafy green vegetables, zucchini, green beans, and Brussels sprouts are usually part of the day's diet, generally at dinner. Carrots and celery are the only snacks allowed on the plan. Cheese and eggs. Eggs are included in a few lunch menus and can be prepared according to your preference as long as no fat is used. Cheese slices and cottage cheese are also included in a few lunch menus. Nuts. Nuts are not included in the standard meal plan. However, on the substitute lunch plan, you are allowed to have six halves of walnuts or pecans. Fruit. Grapefruit is included in every breakfast. It is also included in several lunches. Fruit salad is also included in a lunch menu. Meat, poultry, seafood. Roast chicken and turkey, lamb, hamburger, and broiled steak are included in dinner menus. Fish and shellfish are also on a dinner menu. Cold cuts are included in lunch menus although fatty meats such as bologna are not allowed. Zero calorie beverages. Black coffee, tea, water, and diet soda are included in the plan. Cream and sugar in your tea or coffee are not allowed. Protein bread. Protein bread, made with soy flour, whole wheat flour, and gluten flour, is a staple on this plan. A recipe is provided in the book, but this product was also available in grocery stores in the 1970s. Alcoholic beverages. No alcohol is allowed during the 14-day Scarsdale diet. However, on the maintenance plan, one serving of dry alcohol is allowed per day. Butter and other spreads. No added fat is allowed on the program, including butter, margarine, salad dressings, peanut butter, olive oil, or avocado. Potatoes, rice, sweet potatoes, beans. Starchy vegetables and legumes are not allowed on the plan as they are significant sources of carbohydrate. Sugary treats. No desserts of any kind, ice cream, baked goods, candy, etc. are allowed on the program. On some days fruit may be consumed. Pasta and flour-based foods. No bread or pasta products are consumed on the diet, except for specific amounts of protein bread. Full-fat milk. Only low-fat and non-fat milk products are allowed. Recommended timing The Scarsdale diet is designed to last for 14 days. Dr. Tarnauer is very explicit in his book that you are not to extend the program. During the two weeks of the diet, he says that you will lose up to 20 pounds. After the 14-day weight loss phase, Dr. Tarnauer outlines a lifetime, keep slim, program. During this phase, you follow a similar but slightly more relaxed version of the Scarsdale diet. For example, in the maintenance phase, you can have one alcoholic drink per day. The maintenance plan can be followed indefinitely until you see your weight creep up. 
If you start to gain weight, as defined as a 4 pound weight increase on the scale, you are advised to go back on the 14 day Scarsdale diet. Resources and tips Most people who followed the Scarsdale diet did so by purchasing the book. The program was available in both paperback and hardcover editions, although paperback versions were more popular. At the time that this diet was released, the internet did not exist. However, since the book has gone out of print and technology has evolved, several websites are now dedicated to the program. These sites outline the 14-day meal program and some provide recipes for the protein bread. None of these sites are affiliated with the original program. Modifications in his book, Dr. Tarnauer writes that the Scarsdale diet is designed for adult men and women in normal health. He states that those with medical problems and pregnant women should not use the plan without the approval of a physician. The book provides two modified versions of the diet, a vegetarian plan and an international plan. The vegetarian plan recommends the same caloric intake but the meal plans are based on vegetables, fruits, some dairy products, nuts, and limited amounts of grains. Some vegetables, such as sweet potatoes, are not allowed. The international plan is a diet plan that allows for more variety. Each day is assigned a specific cuisine, i.e. Monday as American Day, Tuesday as Japanese Day, Wednesday as French Day, etc. However, the calorie and macronutrient intake are the same and the eating rules don't change. How it compares when it was first released, the Scarsdale diet was most often compared to the Atkins diet. However, the Atkins program has changed substantially over the years and the programs are no longer comparable. Most likely due to the death of Dr. Tarnauer, the Scarsdale diet never evolved or adjusted to updated dietary guidelines provided by health experts or the USDA. USDA Recommendations Food Groups the Scarsdale diet does not adhere to current guidelines provided by the USDA for protein, carbohydrate, or fat intake. According to the 2015-2020 dietary guidelines, adult men and women are advised to consume 10% to 35% of calories from protein, 45% to 65% of calories from carbohydrate, and 20% to 35% of calories from fat with an emphasis on healthy fat. The Scarsdale diet gained widespread popularity because the substantial weight loss claims it made were appealing to many people who were trying to slim down. While this specific diet is no longer popular, many other weight loss programs that make similar claims are widely promoted. It's important to critically evaluate any claims made a diet program or nutritional plan that you choose to undergo. In general, a healthy rate of weight loss is 1 to 2 pounds per week. Programs that promise much more than that may use methods that don't promote good nutrition or wellness. When in doubt, talk to your healthcare provider or speak to a registered dietitian to get personalized advice. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video.